Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Pontoon. I know it's been a while, and here we are in the trigger cave where, you know, a lot of triggers get built, and uh, that's really kept me busy. And, you know, to be honest, where are you going to find the most updates? That will be in the link down below for my Instagram. I have far more time for Instagram and to post things, updates, uh, sales, coupon codes, that sort of thing on Instagram, uh, more so than I do here. I just don't have enough time to do as many videos as I would like between uh, having a grown-up job and uh, as, as a babysitter, uh, as well as just building a crap ton of triggers. Uh, it's been very busy. And I'm very thankful for each and every one of you <clears throat> that has ordered or is looking forward to ordering. Uh, I'm always answering questions. If you need to, email me. I have several different contact form places on the website. <clears throat> Instagram is one place. I re you, know, you can direct message me there. I try to get a hold of everybody. I don't do a lot of the Facebook thing. It's just not really one of my things. Um, so why are we here tonight? A couple different things. For one, there's a couple new options on the website that uh, to just give people <clears throat> more of a chance to build the trigger that they want. One of those things would be bringing back the Apex Elite Marksman. Now, I have the Apex Predator, which is an adjustable trigger system, and it's more of a competition style, or for somebody who is uh, wanting to have the Apex shoe, but without quite as much pre-travel. Well, <clears throat> I do get a lot of questions for people that, one, they want the Apex trigger shoe, or they want something that, that does have the pre-travel, and so to kind of give them a little bit of every of both worlds i brought back the uh, apex elite marksman so you'll find that on the website that's available um <clears throat> another thing is i will be uh pushing or the the stealth marksman which is an elite marksman with a factory trigger shoe now there will be options to have pre-travel reduction or to keep the factory uh, first stage, if you will. So that's something that's going to be coming up. Haven't put it on the website yet. I mean, I, I have it as one of my older options, and it is something that gets asked for, so I will be bringing that back. Uh, you know, it's a good option. Uh, another thing is the... Uh, well, tell you what. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of tonight's video so I don't keep you too long. Now, if you watch my Instagram, you will know that one <clears throat> hit 7,000 subscribers or followers, if you will. That's pretty big. Going to be doing a giveaway for that. I'm hammering down the details for that uh, so that I can give away a couple cool things. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is you probably saw that I released my HK VP9 VP40, or in my case, VP357, trigger spring kit. <clears throat> now, up until now, there was only one other place to get it, and that was hkparts.com. And they offered it as a kit, both springs, um, <clears throat> and for some people, especially if you're running a factory trigger system, the trigger return spring is probably going to be too weak because of the internal friction in the the in the gun so really what a lot of people need is just the trigger sear spring and that is something that i offer you can get either just the trigger return spring or you can get just the trigger sear spring um, or you can get them together as a package uh, most people are going to benefit more from the trigger sear spring that's going to reduce the brake weight of the trigger by about a pound and a half or a pound. Um, each gun is just a little bit different. Now that's all well and good. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I I took the factory trigger springs, I evaluated them, I, I figured out approximately what I wanted them to be specced out at. I sent them, you know, 
got a hold of a couple different spring ma spring manufacturers and got got the springs that I wanted made. So I gotta say the uh, the results have been very very good. And to add on top of that, something that I've been working on and really getting the spring getting a hold of the springs was the uh, the hardest thing because uh, you know unlike a Glock spring where pretty much everybody uses Wolf Springs, HK Springs, it's not really the same deal. So I had to go out and I had to spec the springs that I wanted, had to get a hold of a couple different spring manufacturers in order to work out the deals, but I got that done. So they are available on the website. So that's cool. Now you have an option. You can buy one or the other, or you can get both, or, <clears throat> and here it is. Okay, you will notice <clears throat> This is the Lobos trigger shoe in my Glock, my HK VP357 SIG. <clears throat> and that is the trigger shoe that I decided to go with. I really like the design. Um, <clears throat> I, ordered, I ordered it up, I took a look at it, I played with it, and really, it's a very good design. It's also probably, you know, it's the best looking design for these triggers. <clears throat> And uh, they just have a style to them. Many people uh, may not know, they are actually the ones that designed the uh, SSVI tier trigger shoe. So, and you know I'm a fan of the way that looks. So, a little, little bit of knowledge there for you. Um, so I used their trigger, and then what I did was I went in and I cleaned up all of the trigger, trigger components from the trigger bar, the uh, disconnector, and the, um, <clears throat> you call it the sear, sear hook, I'll have to look up the exact term, but I cleaned all of those up because <clears throat> it's all metal on metal, and the factory pressed out cut parts just have some rough edges, and that's one of the reasons why for a factory trigger, it's not recommended to do the trigger return spring because that these components in here can bind. And a reduced power trigger return spring may actually not return or will return very slowly. However, when you put that together with my system, um, it, you'll see, just has no problem whatsoever bringing that back to full return. We'll check here. It is empty. No shells inside. Um, so let's talk about the Elite Marksman, or I'm prob probably going to go with that name for this trigger system. I haven't, I haven't come out with all the details for just naming it, but let's call it for the Elite Marksman for the VP series. <clears throat> so we cleaned up the action. I dropped the weight down by about a pound and a half, a little bit more. It's, it's breaking in about a three to three and a half pound trigger. So the factory trigger is already fairly light as it is. With this, it's just that little extra. And with the, uh, the, the, the long slide versions for people that want to do uh, competition shooting, this is really an awesome way to go. So it does keep the, uh, the take up, which is reduced compared to just the factory trigger. You have some of the take up, which is very smooth. And while that makes, <clears throat> the reason why I say that it's very smooth is the way the VP um, safety block is up in the uh, slide. Instead of like a Glock where it's got a little push button that just kind of slides across, it actually has a mechanical um, switch, if you will, that it interfaces with. So by, by cleaning that up and polishing that really nicely and changing the profile just a little bit, um, the take-up is so much smoother before it was fairly notchy. And then it just has a nice... Very short, clean break. 
and then relatively short reset and back again. So it is a competition trigger. It is ready for those long slides. And like I said, VP9, VP40, VP357, it's good to go. So the Tactical Pontoon Elite Marksman Series triggers for the HK is ready to go. Is this on the website yet? Not just yet. It will be soon. I just wanted to get that out to you. It's coming. The springs are there. The springs are already there. Uh, you can get a hold of those and and play with them. I will be I'll be offering a tool. I made my own, and it's nothing special to put the uh, trigger springs in with. So I'll probably be making a couple more of these just kind of to, to give them as an option um, because you can use just a standard pair of, and I will be basing them off of a standard pair of needle nose pliers. So it, it's just gonna give you the option. It makes it so much simpler. You can get the job done relatively quickly. That being said, and I linked it in the website to how to take one of these guns apart, it is involved and if you own a if you own an HK um, you know maybe this is something you should have a gunsmith do if you're feeling brave it's something you can do it's really not that bad once you've done it once or twice uh, but the first time it is it is a bit daunting there's a lot of parts in there so uh, that's it that I mean that's that's kind of a, a quick update HK stuff is coming sig p320 stuff guys 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 that gun I got stuff coming for it I have a trigger system in mind for it and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool so that's it thank you for joining me today on, or tonight as it is in the trigger cave on tactical pontoon I will catch you later if you have any questions drop them down below drop them on Instagram email them to me I will get back with you this is pretty exciting. This is going to be a very cool trigger setup. And uh, there it is. We will catch you later on Tactical Pontoon.